And here we are again, 737. Good Thursday morning to you. Barry Ferguson hanging out with you here at CJKLF. And got a couple of special guests in studio with us this morning as we say good morning to Brennan Bertoncello and Isaac Goche. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? That was in unison. You guys been practicing? Not uh, well, not really, no. All right, so I heard about an awesome project that you guys are involved in. It's called the Rotary Wheels for Learning. And as I understand this program, uh, it raises money to build bicycles for children in Cambodia so that they can ride these bicycles to get to school because it's very hazardous for these kids to get to school because this is a country uh, with landmines everywhere and it's real dangerous walking around walking around parts of Cambodia so they need bicycles to get to school and you guys are raising money to build some bicycles for these kids how cool is that how did you guys find out about this so our parents are part of Rotary so okay. Usually, we sometimes go because there's no hockey and we have no place to go except for the Rotary meetings. Uh-huh. So we heard about it and then we just started to roll with it. All right. So, um, so Isaac, you guys, you guys got involved in this last year, right? You raised some money last year to build some bicycles. Last yeah. year it was just me, but oh, it was just you last year. So, and you guys yeah. are working together on it now. Yeah. There's a couple of things. Number one, you have a school challenge underway, right? Yeah. Our school challenge is that um, me and Brennan are in separate classes because there's a 4-5 split, 5-6 split. I'm in the 5-6. He's in the 4-5. Okay. So um, whoever raises the most money, like, gets a pita pizza party for raising the most money ah. and then it gets sent to Cambodia so each $50 um, we put in mm-hmm. will able to give one uh, one kid one bike okay so each bike costs 50 bucks to assemble and uh, and, and and to give to these uh, children now yeah. you say you have the school challenge and it's two different classes going yeah. Which yeah. which class is ahead now in in the fundraising? I um, think his. Yeah, my class, the five six. The five six, Brennan. Yeah. You're gonna have to get your buddies to uh, <laughs> get it going here to catch up, right? Yeah. yeah. So, on behalf of the local Rotary Club, the Kirk Lake Rotary Club, Mike and Kim Marinick lead the crew that travels to Cambodia, and they will be going. I understand in the next month or so. They'll be heading to Cambodia uh, to build the bikes and at the same time make some school improvements. Uh, They they built a wash basin a year ago at one of the schools in Cambodia. They go around to various provinces. And last year, they built over 800 bikes to distribute to children. Now, you guys were part of 25 bikes last year. What's your goal for this year? How many bikes... It, when, when you close your eyes and, and, and it's a perfect world, how many bikes are you guys contributing? Well, we're trying to, our goal is either 35 uh, or 30. Mm-hmm. So either 10 bikes more than last year or five bikes more than last year. Sure, as long as you do better than last year, you're going in the right direction, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, now, how many do you have so far? So far, we have 18 bikes, wow. but that's not including our classroom challenge. Yeah. Okay, and and we're asking people to contribute to the campaign, which ends at the end of this year. So it ends in 11 days, basically. It's the ultimate Christmas gift, helping a less fortunate child get an education. What could be better than that? It's just 50 bucks if you want to uh, if you want to buy the bicycle or. If you don't have the 50 bucks, you only get 5 or 10 to contribute. They're also starting a pool of money where when the money adds up, they will buy a bunch of bicycles according to how much money is in the pot. Now, when you make a donation, you also get a receipt and you will get a picture of the child receiving the bicycle, which is kind of cool. Yeah, but they don't like buy stuff here. They buy stuff there so there's money in the community. Yeah. And then they build the bikes there. Exactly. So it, ke- it, it, it it aids the Cambodian economy by doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now, 
couple other things. Uh, you guys have challenges out. You want people to uh, come up with donations. We can give you a contact. It is, it is Ken, I'll, I'll give you a phone number and I'll give you an email address, all right? Uh, the contact is carry2821 at hotmail.com. And I'll spell carry for you. C-A-R-R-I-E 2821 at hotmail.com. Or you can, uh, you can call Carrie as well, 568-7463 for more information and, uh, and to find out how, just how you can uh, make your $50 donation to get a bike to a kid in Cambodia. You guys have the last word. Convince people to dig into their pockets this holiday season and help out this great cause. Well. Isaac, you want to go first? Mm, I'll let Brennan. Okay, Brandon. There's not just like landmines. There's like serpents that like can are venomous that can kill people. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you can donate less than fifty dollars if you want, but fifty dollars is one bike. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And and I should also uh, mention that this program, even though the Kirkland Lake Rotary Club has been involved for just this is the second year of their involvement, um, it started with uh, with the Rotary Club in Gravenhurst, and this has been ongoing for eight years. And a gentleman by the name of Mike Cole is the one that spearheaded this whole operation. And uh, hats off to him because this is a this absolutely wonderful program. It is called Rotary Wheels for Learning. Brennan Burton Cello, Isaac Goche in studio with us this morning. They have a challenge out at Central School. Um, the two classes are battling each other, and and right now it's the older group that's winning, right, Isaac? Yep. But Brennan, you're going to spur your classmates to uh, make a make a late game comeback here, right? Yeah. And we're going to get it done. Well, he doesn't really have much time to do a comeback because. Uh, all the money, like we only had like four, I think three or four days. Okay. Starting from Monday, so mm -hmm. we had until today. Okay. To um, put all the money in like little baskets. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah. But you know what? With with you guys coming in here to talk about it this morning, a whole lot of people are finding out about it for the very first time. And I think a lot of people are going to dig into their pockets and contribute to the cause because they're going to hear this and say, what a wonderful idea, what a wonderful operation this is. And you two guys uh, being the spokespeople for it here in Kirkland Lake are going to spur people on to helping out the cause. And we thank you so very much. Yep. Mm -hmm. What are you guys going to do on your snow day now? Um, probably just relax or something or I might go up to one of my friends like Brennan's or go hang out play video games and stuff yeah. mostly yes right. <laughs> well I'd like to thank you guys for coming in and brightening up our morning a little bit this was fun thank you for letting us come hey Thanks. it's it's been a pleasure and what I want you guys to do for me mm -hmm. is when Mike and Kim come back from Cambodia I want you guys to get a hold of me and let me know how many bikes we'll talk again and let me know how many, we'll talk about how many bikes were built and how much money was raised and all that, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Isaac and Brennan, it's been fun. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye. 746. You got to love when, uh, when, when young people get involved in stuff, huh? How cool is that? Uh, Brennan and Isaac, we thank those guys so very much for doing this this morning. So